Because everybody these days, you'll hear it in every newspaper, that kids these days are far too easily offended. It's the snowflake generation. They want to run away to their safe spaces. And with the attitude they've got these days, we never would have won the Second World War. Well, first of all, I'd like to point out that to have any kind of meaningful impact on the Second World War now, you need to be at least in your mid to late 90s. So most of them are dead. And the people now banging on about how we wouldn't have won the Second World War, people that were born in the 50s and the 60s. So, all right, Gary from Luton, yeah, thanks for your input, but you were born 11 years after Hitler fucking died. <laughs> so you might have to remind me which one of his generals you personally defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat <laughs> on the roof of the burning Reichstag. Wind your fucking neck in. <laughs> but that's not to say that this generation don't every now and then give good examples of ludicrous behaviour that feeds into that narrative. Take, for example, that woman a couple of weeks back who was barred from taking her emotional support peacock on a six-hour flight in the United States. <laughs> Interesting idea, that, because she rang up the airline on two occasions before she bought this peacock to the fucking airport and said, can I bring my emotional support peacock with me? And quite rightly, they went, no. That sounds fucking mental. And she turned up anyway with this four-foot-tall, giant, iridescent fucking dinosaur. <laughs> and was then expecting to be allowed to take it onto the plane with her. And they told her no. And here's the thing, right? Emotional support dog, this is the thing that everyone's used the stick to beat this generation with now, is that we need these emotional support animals. Actually, emotional support dogs are genuinely helpful to people with social anxiety disorders, people on the autistic spectrum, people with other mental health, health issues. I'm not taking the piss out of that, all right? What I'm taking the piss out of is the fact that these knobheads have co-opted that idea to bring whatever exotic animal they like onto any walk of life just because they feel a bit sad that day. You don't get to walk around New York with a monkey. You're not living in a Philip Pullman novel you feather-wanking mentalist. <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit, and it's so... Because the idea was... And also, I don't care... Even if, by some weird coincidence, she was the one person in the world, right? Dogs are lovely, friendly, loyal creatures. They give you unconditional love. They're supportive. That's why they're used to support emotionally fragile people. Peacocks are vicious, aggressive, territorial creatures that will peck your fucking face off if you think that you have corn. Like, at no point has it ever happened, has anybody ever woken up and thought, well, you know what, I was paralysed with ennui this morning, crushed with existential dread, but then I looked into the eyes of Dexter, my emotional support peacock, <laughs> and he said, poof, ah! <laughs> And on top of that, right, there are a hundred other people on this fucking plane. I'm quite a nervous flyer. Have I got on the plane? Fair enough, yes, she's calmed down by the presence of Dexter the Peacock. But had I got on this aircraft, being a nervous flyer, and I've sat down in my seat, tapping my foot, looking at the floor, waiting for the takeoff, and then over the sea, I just get... <laughs> I'm going to be feeling pretty fucking anxious. And I don't have my emotional support animal with me because I'm not a fucking weapon. <laughs> And what if there's an emergency in that situation? Do you really think an emotional support peacock's going to be able to control its behaviour in that environment? No. It's going to be running up and down the aisles, kicking children in the throat, pecking life jackets. It's going to be like Rod Hull on Parkinson, except children have lost eyes and everybody is screaming. Until finally, at the end of all of the chaos, Samuel L. Jackson just bursts out of the cockpit with a shotgun and screams, I've had enough of these motherfucking emotional support peacocks on this motherfucking plane! And on top of that, right, this peacock has an Instagram account. Like, there are pictures of it going around New York on a lead. She's a performance artist. If your emotional support peacock has its own Instagram account, you don't have emotional support peacock. You're just a cunt with a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> LAUGHTER